so om namo bhagavate vasudevaya bhagavate vasudevaya om namo 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 bhagavate vasudevaya so we are reading from shrimad bhagavatam canto first creation and chapter 3 and today's verse is 38 so 1338 can you can you respond or no we have the verse i don't have it made right now okay no i will i will read it now. This is not opening, Prabhu. Not opening at all. No. It's pretty. It was number pretty. Yeah. If somebody else can do it, Prabhu. But the database is not loading. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do it, Prabhu. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, Prabhu. Saveda dhatu padavim parashya. Saveda dhatu padavim parashya. ृत्या अजेत तद पाद सरोज गंधम अजेत तद पदा सरोज गंधम थैंक यू सावेद सावेद धातु पद विम परश्य सावेद धातु पद विम परश्य तुरंत विरयश्च रथांग पाने Ranta virasya ratanga pamehe yo maya ha santataha yanu ratvapa yo maya ya santata yanu vritya ajet tad pad sarod gandam ajet tad pad sarod gandam
Oh, you already did. Okay. Zoom lain. Weather base is not responding, Prabhu. It's not responding, Prabhu. Don't have book. Okay. Anybody in the Zoom land has the words and want to recite? Okay, I, I do it again. Yes, Prabhu. <laughs> I'll, I'll read. Okay. okay. Sabeda datuhu padavin parasya. Duranta virasya ratanga panehe. Yomayaya santa ya nuritya. Pacheta tatpada saroja ganda. Since. Okay, Martin. Go ahead, Martin. Kaveda da to padma bim parasa. Duranta virashasya tanga pane. Yo maya ya satatanyan vasaya. Bajeta tat pada saro jagandam. Anybody else? I just came on. I'll give it a try. Yes, please. Savira da tu pradavin parasya duranta viryasya rachatam rathanga pate pante pane yomayaya satatya yon vritaya vajita tatpada saroja gandam. Thank you. Anybody else? We move on to word to word translation and word to word by his joint grace, Sala Prabhupada. Sala Prabhupada, if the solution to Rupi case, respond. Or Usha Mataji, if your uh, words is open, can you respond? Yes, Prabhu. Okay. Sa. Uh -huh. He alone. He alone. Veda. Veda. Can know. Can know. Dhatu. Dhatu. Of the creator. Of the creator. Padvim. Padvim. Glories. Glories. Prashya. Prashya. Of the transcendence. Of the transcendence. Durantaha Virayasya. Duranta Virasyas of the greatly powerful of the greatly powerful Rat Angaha Pane Rat Anga Pane of Lord Krishna who bears in his hand the wheel of a chariot of Lord Krishna who bears in his hand the wheel of chariot Yaha Yaha one who one who among amayaya amayaya without reservation without reservation santataya santataya without any gap without any gap anuvrtya anuvrtya favorably favorably bhajet Vajete. Renders service. Renders service. Tadpad. Tadpad. Of his feet. Of his feet. Saroj Gandham. Saroj Gandham. Fragrance of the lotus. Fragrance of the lotus. Translation. Only those who render unreserved, uninterrupted, favorable service onto the lotus feet of Lord Krishna who carries the wheel of the chariot in his hand can know the creator of the universe in his full glory, power and transcendence. Only those only who those render who render only those who render unreserved, uninterrupted, favorable service 
unreserved and uninterrupted favorable service unto the lotus feet of lord krishna unto the lotus feet of lord krishna who carries the wheel of the chariot in his hand who carries the wheel of the chariot in his hand can know the creator of the universe in his full glory can know the creator of the universe in his full glory power and transcendence power and transcendence thank you Okay. Only the pure devotees can know the transcendental name, form, and activity of Lord Krishna due to their being completely freed from the reactions of primitive world and mental speculation. The pure devotees have nothing to derive as personal profit from their unalloyed service to the Lord. They render incessant service to the Lord spontaneously, without any reservation. Everyone within the creation of the Lord is rendering service to the Lord indirectly or directly. No one is an exception to this law of the Lord. Those who are rendering service indirectly, being forced by illusory agent of the Lord, are rendering service unto him unfavorably but those who are rendering service unto him directly under the direction of his beloved agent are rendering service unto him favorably such favorable servitors are devotees of the lord and by the grace of the lord they can enter into the mysterious region of transcendence by the mercy of the lord but the mental speculators remain in darkness all the time as stated in bhagavad gita the lord himself guides the pure devotee toward the path of realization due to their constant engagement in the loving service of the lord in spontaneous affection that is the secret of entering into the kingdom of god Today, activities and speculation are no qualification for entering the path of Ija. Om Agyana Timranda Sagyana Jana Salakya Tatsur Hamedam Yena Tasme Shri Guru Ehe Namaha Narayanam Namaskrata Naram Teva Narotamam Devim Taraswati Vyasam Jamadhi Nashtapreyasu Abdresu Nittam Bhagavata Seviya Bhagavati Uttam Shloka Bhakti Rivati Nishtakihi Mukum Karotim Acharlam Bhangum Langate Grim Yatripatam Aham Vande Parmananda Madhuvam So before we start discussing this very exalted face in Srimad Bhagavatam. I would like to have the blessings of all the senior devotees, Jagannath Prabhu, Sitaram Prabhu, others, Nandupal Prabhu and others on the Zoom land and on the temple and any other social media. So, as Prabhupada is explaining here, the importance of the Naam, Root, Guna, and Leelas. Sala Prabhupada has mentioned multiple times that we, if we keep ourselves in the realm of his uh, name, like Naam, Root, and Gun, Leela, if we if we keep ourselves engaged in uh, these four items, it helps us to do self-transformation. And you can also call it self-care. And in this section of Srimad Bhagavatam, a particular chapter, Sutta Goswami is at the very conclusive stage or phase where he is trying to, he is describing the uh, importance of the 
be pure pure, pure spontaneous or the devotional service with uh, pure love priti purvakam like with full love attached to it and it has to be powerless there are three types of uh, services are being discussed here unreserved uninterrupted and favorable always as we know we always know that we have taken the birth is very important for us and Prabhupada is trying to, Prabhupada has given us that why this birth and then how can we attain the Saurupa Siddhi? How can we go back to Godhead in this lifetime? And the purpose of the birth is not earning money, paying taxes, paying EMIs, different kinds of insurances, mortgages, different. That's not the aim. The core of life is to transform, to, to, uh, to have a care for our own self. The Buddha explains, Saurupa Siddhi. Saurupa Siddhi, then we know uh, our position and why we are here and What's our final home after this? And Sila Prabhupada explains many times in his lectures that unless we reach to the mode of uh, goodness, uh, pure goodness, it is very difficult to enter into the realm of the uh, these. Uh, unreserved, uninterrupted, and favorable uh, use of services uh, to the Lord. And Srila Prabhupada explains in, in 1820, like where, let me see that. How the mode of goodness is important. 18, 19, 20, 18, 19, 20, these are uh, the three levels ignorance, passion, and goodness. This 20 is the uh, in the mode of goodness. The translation goes like this that, the, that knowledge by which one undivided spiritual nature is seen in all living entities, though. They are divided into individual forms you should understand to be in the mode of goodness. So, if we see the life of Sula Prabhupada, he has given uh, his life uh, for this community at large. And Sula Prabhupada explains. We all have internal inclinations, but he explained that these internal inclinations from time to time can be controlled by intelligence. For example, I have gulab jam, I want to eat it, but if I apply my uh, intelligence that I, it is not good for me for any reasons, then I can stop myself uh, to, uh, to not to eat this block jama. This is the example of linear desire. Linear desire means you can control that particular desire with our intelligence only. But in this material world, we do have many times external influences from time to time and that that creates it for most of the time it creates a triangle triangle of uh, triangle of desires 
And the only way we can control or we can stop is if we have some bhakti inspirations. For example, same Gulab Jamun, we can see outside somebody is eating, she is eating, he is eating, others are eating. It's very difficult to control when you have this kind of a triangle, uh, triangle uh, desire. But if you have some bhakti inspiration, for example, it is Ekatsi and you, you are in this triangle uh, of thoughts that I should eat this uh, gulab jamun because everybody's eating. But when you start thinking that yes, I have a spiritual master or if it is written in uh, scriptures that on uh, Ekatsi we should not eat uh, gulab jamun or we have our Siksha Guru or we may have our uh, Diksha Guru at the same time, then we can we can stop uh, these uh, influences, external influences, because there is a uh, bhakti inspiration in the form of it can be through the uh, scriptures, it can be through the our spiritual master or any any spiritual setting. Otherwise these external, external uh, influences are always in triangle and when you are in triangle, it is very difficult to take the linear desire way. It's very difficult. I'll say a story when in Ramayana, when uh, <clears throat> Bharat and uh, Satrugan came back from uh, their mama's place after uh, Lord Ram was even the 14 years of exile, when they entered the palace, uh, Satrugan, uh, Satrugan saw Mantra, the lady who influenced everyone to give uh, the KK to, uh, to ask for the uh, kingdom for Bharat and uh, give the uh, 14 years exile to Lord Ram. Then Bharat was passing in front of the KK's room and then he saw uh, mantra, mantra with full of gold of uh, jewelry, full of his, his uh, COJ hunch lady, even the hunchback was uh, full of gold ornaments. And then he knew that this lady has done this damage. This She has influenced my uh, mother KK. So he, he started seeking, uh, seeking her. So that she gets that she, he, was, he was trying to show his frustration that why you have done uh, to Lord Ram. He's seeking so that uh, she understands. But Lord Bharat comes there and he stops him. He says, Satrugan, you cannot do this. And then Satrugan argues that no, she has done this, this is because of this, uh, Lord Ram is in uh, forest right now for 14 years, it's not his fault, but he's trying to give his, his way uh, of thinking. But Bharat says, no, if Lord Ram came to know that you are doing this to take the revenge from Mantra, he will not be happy. So he could control Satrugan's uh, actions by some bhakti inspiration means to serve the Lord or to to have the some inspiration so that uh, uh, we are serving we are in the realm of pure uh, love which is unreserved uninterrupted and favorable uh, Lord so in this case the favor was that uh, Lord Ram will not like it, but when uh, Lord Bharat stopped it, that means it is a favorable uh, service he is uh, doing, and he always doing as Bharat is always doing unreserved, uninterrupted, and favorable service to uh, Lord Ram. We all know from the uh, past times of uh, uh, Ramayana. And 
Sila Prabhupada always says that these external circumstances will provoke us from time to time to stop us from the undeserved, these three kinds of services. And Sila Prabhupada gave the example of a hungry tiger. That when tiger is hungry, is roaring. But when you do not feed him, he may uh, roar more and more. He will keep going, keep going. But at his stage, he will roar to the extreme. And after that, he will not be able to roar because you are not feeding him and he is becoming weak. A similar way, if we understand this material world, that we don't need to feed these uh, external influences so that we remain in the um, aspect of uh, bhakti always. And Sila Prabhupada always explains like it is this bhakti, three types of these bhakti is not only for uh, two people. Prabhupada explains in uh, uh, I think chapter 2 let me read that verse where Prabhupada explains uh, Prabhupada says this emotional service is for everyone. As he mentioned in verse number 6, chapter 2. Same, uh, 1, 2, 6. It says, Saveha pom sam paro dharmo yato bhaktir adokshe ahitukihi aprahitaha yayat maha suprasadatihi. Prabhupada explains, the supreme occupation, the dharma, for all the humanity is that by which man can attain to loving devotional service unto the transcendence Lord. Such devotional service must be unmotivated and uninterrupted to completely satisfy the self. So, Prabhupada, very nicely explaining, this is this service, the devotional service is meant for there. It is like sometimes uh, the people who make the different type of deities and they you know, sometimes you ask them, how come you cast these so nice uh, deities? They say, I'm not doing anything. The deity is already there. I'm just removing the extra stones so that the real, real deity form can be can be formed. Same way Sala Prabhupada is explaining that the, this is the supreme occupation dharma of all humanity and what is the dharma in the very next verse Sala Prabhupada explains vasudeve bhagavati ki agti yoga prajayitaha janyate asuhu vairagyam jnanam yad ahitukam says that the by rendering devotion to service onto the personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, one immediately acquires causeless knowledge and detachment from the world. So, Prabhupada already explained the importance of these three kinds of uh, devotion service, causeless service. And we always, uh, every day in the morning, Mangala Arti, we recite this. Uh, Six Ashtam, the eight verses by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Na dhanam, na janam, na sundari, kavitam va jagati sukami, mam janmani, janmani swade, avatad bhaktir, ahituki tavi. Again, we always uh, listen to this ahituki. It means causeless. In Hindi, it is called niskam seva. So, if we keep listening to all these instructions from uh, our acharyas, we 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 need to we can we can transform. We can we can be uh, self care for our uh, our own. We we don't need anybody else. We we can do uh, the sarusudhi by our own uh, efforts from time to time. But we need to we need to establish that. Lord Krishna is the supreme personality of God. 
otherwise like we have the example of uh, king uh, jarasand he was doing many activities which were which were uh, brahmanical or vaisnava in nature but one thing he could not he failed to do was he was not able to accept the supremacy of the supreme that's why he uh, he was fighting uh, with the lord multiple times and similar way vensila prabhupad is explaining the uninterrupted service devotion service to the lord we all know that we uh, we all want an interruption like the, we don't need any uh, interruption whether we are doing any daily activities or devotion service it is there for example we have all of us have computer at home especially in the businesses they always attach a ups to uh, the computer so that the when the power goes but it is not that uh, that a case in the western countries but it is a daily affair or rather it is the affair of every household every office that we need to have the ups system so that the power goes and there is a uninterrupted power supply going to uh, the computer but we we need to apply this ups in a way that it, it is it is uninterrupted but if it goes to the supreme lord sir so whatever we do it is just for uh, it's meant for only to uh, serve the lord it is the first time in egypt i was listening to a class how the materialistic people understand that they want to enjoy the uh, their daily life uninterrupted always in egypt i don't know when but it was very long back they they invented rather they they asked the king asked the uh, their uh, researcher that let's have a medicine that's let's have a tablet or some form of medicine that it induces the vomiting normally uh, normally the medicine is to stop the uh, stop the vomiting but they said oh, let's have the medicine which induces the vomiting why what they were doing it that they will they want to enjoy the different kinds of food of this world so they will eat they will eat and they are uh, full of their stomach but when their stomach is full they are satisfied they want to take that tablet and they will vomit out and they will eat again and then they will do the same uh, cycle again and again but what happens over a period of time they people start dying the young people were dying and they stopped it so they they stopped it because still uh, they are in the uh, realm of uh, materialism sense enjoyment but if we are in the uninterrupted service to the lord we never get uh, to stop anything we keep going all the days so we need to understand how important is the unreserved uninterrupted favorable uh service to the lord like lord in krita lord <coughs> came as the son of vasudev and deity uh, it is just because of their uninterrupted unreserved and uh, the favorable uh, those in service if we see lord appeared uh, as their sons three times in satyuga lord appears as uh, as a uh, uh, upajapati as lord not lord as the prashni girba to prajapati shutapa and prashni where lord brahma gave the uh vishnu dg to uh, prajapati sudapa and prashni and prashni garba was born and prashni garba taught us the importance of brahmacharya and in the next yuga which is uh, 
Kreta, the Lord came as Vamande to Aditi and Kashyap. And in uh, Dwapar, we all know that uh, Lord came as Sri Krishna to Vasudev and Devi. So we need to understand by these past times, as Sala Prabhupada explains many times, if we need to transform ourselves, we need to be focused on root, Nam, Guna, and Lilas. And Prabhupada explains in the uh, purple itself. Without a speculation, without speculation means as it is, whatever is being written on the uh, scriptures, we have to take it as it is. Right now, there is a there is an issue going on uh, in India. Somebody in Bollywood, they have uh, a movie on Kalki, Kalki Avatar, and there is a, a legal fight going on. They uh, I have not seen the movie, but I uh, was seeing the interview, the person uh, from the Kalki, uh, there is a Kalki Dham here in India, there is a Kalki temple uh, under construction right now. Then he says that in that movie, they are saying that Lord Kalki, the Kalki, the incarnation of uh, Kalki will born out of a machine, the materialistic machine. That's why there is a fight going on right now. How can you, how can you say this? Uh, it is not written in our Puranas. It is not said to any of us. Why? So they are speculating. But Prabhupada is warning us that the devotional service is not uh, based on speculations. It has to be in a mode of favorable. Like it has to be always so that it takes us or it gives us some uh, bhakti inspiration so that we understand the uh, position of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And if we keep these three things in intact, like the example of uh, Vasudev, like the Prabhupada explains in uh, and to ten, where uh, it is mentioned that when uh, Vasudev promised to Kamsa to bring eight, eight uh, child, uh, so that he is not killed by uh, any of the child from Deki, it's a unbelievable promise. Well, why would he say eight when uh, all eight? He could have said, "I'll bring the eighth child." No, it is the, the when you want to do the uh, unreserved and uninterrupted favorable service so that because they wanted Lord Krishna to come uh, and kill Kamsa. And by saying this, Vasudev, Vasudev could keep his truthfulness. He brought all eight, uh, like all children to Kamsa and by just by this uh, favorable service to the Lord he could make Kamsa the demon who wants to kill uh, Lord Krishna happy is explained in 10 1 uh, 59 like let me see if I have it okay yes uh, Sukhdev Goswami explains that my dear king breaks it when Kamsa saw that Vasudev being situated in truthfulness was completely equipoised in giving him the child, he was very happy. Therefore, with a smile face, he spoke as follows. This is mentioned by Sala Prabhupada. It is 10 1, 59. And in the very next verse, 10 1, 60, he gave the first child back to uh, Vasudev. But Vasudev didn't have just a different um, different story altogether that uh, he 
he, he, he was not a trustworthy person he could not be he could not be uh, trusted that's why uh, also they explain uh, Prabhu explains in these further uh, verses in the same uh, same kind of same chapter so that's a whole past time so go back to the game is three types of ghostly service if we want to get Saurup Siddhi. It is always uh, good to be the association of the devotees because our association designs our desire. What do you want to do in uh, our lives? In Chaitanya Charitra Amrit, it is mentioned that it is by the proper association we can we can awaken our hunger. It is in, uh, I'll read that verse from, uh, uh, it is Madhilila, Madhilila chapter 8, verse 69. It is the verse from the uh, portion where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramanand Roy, they are uh, discussing the different uh, devotional aspects of life. Please, I'll read the translation. Ramanand Roy continued, as long as there is a hunger and thirst within the stomach, varieties of food and drink make one feel very happy. Similarly, when the Lord is worshipped with pure love, the various activities performed in the course of that worship awaken transcendental bliss in the heart of the devotee. It is very clearly mentioned that it is very important to have the hunger to serve the Lord. And it is also explained in the very next verse, the price, what is the price we need to pay so that we we can um, we can uh, uh, attain this. It is said, Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavi Matihe I'll read the translation. Pure devotion service in Krishna consciousness cannot be had even by pious activities in hundreds and thousands of lives. It can be attained only by paying one price, that is, intense greed to obtain it. If it is available somewhere, one must purchase it without delay. This is what Sila Prabhupada has explained uh, through his books, through his different uh, lectures, through his uh, disciples, always, so that we, we, we can attain, we can attain some uh, uh, advancements for these three kinds of uh, um, three kinds of services uh, <clears throat> without any speculation in our lives. It is very important for all of us. So, with this, I would like to uh, conclude here so that uh, it is 